it had me maybe yesterday that's actually happening and it's not going to stop any time soon. Olesya Pustavalova lives in Cincinnati's sister city, Kharkiv, Ukraine. She's currently in Cincinnati, more than 5,000 miles from home. But Matt and Haley James have been her home away from home since 2016 when they hosted her for a year. She became, we call her our, our firstborn, even though she's only, she's only about 10 years younger than, than us, but she's our daughter. We have a three-year-old son and he calls her sister. She came to visit in January during college break. She was supposed to go home February 20th, but one of her flights got canceled. But we feel like it was a God thing that that flight got delayed because she would she would be there. Instead, she's halfway around the world while her home is under attack. There was one time when they weren't responding because uh, a missile fell right um, next to their house. So the electric electricity went off. This is the last picture she took inside Kharkiv National University. She thought she'd be back to finish her last semester. But found out yesterday, the university was destroyed. We went to the school together, went to the uh, college together. Why, why are they suffering and I'm not? The morning of the invasion, we started to message her family and just say, we're so sorry. Don't worry about Alessia. It's going to be she's she's going to be OK. And her mom messaged us um, back at just that she's so thankful um, that she's here. Alessia has mixed feelings. She asked this of you just to pray that um, that uh, we still at the end of the day that we are strong and we can overcome this and that it will end very soon. Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5.